How to get a felony while sleeping in Detroit. Let's check this out. Like, dang, bro, he's just, he's just sleeping, bro. Hey, my man. You awake? Hey, partner. <laughs> He's just sleeping, brother. Somebody call the cops on him for sleeping. Guys, would you would you call the cops if you saw somebody sleeping? Back when I was homeless, I would sleep in the randomest places. But this guy's in a residential. Oh, I know why. I know why. It's actually not his property. Uh, I've seen this video before, but we'll react to it. Hey, what's your name? What's going on, man? He's out of it, bro. That that that's that's a, one of the worst things to wake up to, man. Nobody wants to have that happen, bro. He, he's got he's got his phone, his his huge phone in his pocket. You drink a little bit today? Hey, listen, man, we're trying to just figure out what's going on. Oh, it is an anti-social social club. Sure. Okay, okay. That's expensive, like, uh, designer stuff, right, guys? We're trying to get you a ride out of here. Bro, if I, if I woke up to that, I would totally go to try to go to sleep as well, man. I, I would not be... Uh, I'd be like, oh my gosh. It, it, you might have just played, like, like, he was still sleepy here, guys. He might, because... Uh, Cause he, he he's probably screwed at that. I mean, he could have like you know just got up and you know they might not have sure searched him, but they they were already going in his pockets, guys. You're at somebody's house. You're sleeping outside. Where do you stay at? You got. Dang those body cams. Those body cams are straight like huge, bro. They're like the size of a phone. And they're, they're, they're ID in here? You got a driver's license? Oh, okay. Let's take our hands out your pockets, man. Right. Looks like he's so cold he was trying to keep warm like that, guys. Oh. I don't know. I'm already a straining in. I mean. Done. Done. Don't move. Where's it at? It's all the way down. What? What's all the way down? What's that? Two radio just advising we found a gun on him. Put in one as well, man. Hand up. Okay. Are you all set? We're securing them now. Dang, he's screwed. He's also a felon. I'll just go ahead and spoil it here, but yeah. That's not a good thing to have when you're a felon. I'm, maybe he's not. I forgot exactly. Okay. You got anything else on you that we need to know about? Is that gun registered to you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, guys. I'm not sure if he's like out of it because he just woke up or maybe he passed out on drugs. It could be either or guys. Yeah, got some cash. Yeah, that's two phones. It feels so sad, bro, when, when they're searching your pockets, man. If anyone's been arrested, it's like, dang, bro. They straight up pocket checking you, bro. And there's like nothing you can do about it when that happens, man. It's kind of depressing. What's your name? Hey, partner. 
Usually when they like find a gun, they gotta like point it away from them just in case it like accidentally discharges. Just discharges. And then put it on the floor. Listen, you're gonna tell us something. You gotta have some sort of explanation for it. Is this a ultra carry? Is that the name of it? Possibly. Or a Kimber? Kimber, probably. Kimber ultra carry, maybe both carry the model. Very one radio. Very one radio just advising we're trying to get the subject identified. Guys, that is a, that is an awesome plant right there. I totally had that plant in my garden or something. If I had a space for it, because that's a huge plant as well. Highly intoxicated. Can you run a firearm for me? Go ahead. It's gonna be a Kimber Ultra Carry serial number of King Union two three zero six six. It's going to be a caliber this. It's going to be 40 caliber. This is like raw police footage, guys. I didn't, I thought he would edit it down a little. I mean, he kind of is, right? Bro, I'd be so depressed. I don't want to talk at all, man. <laughs> I'd be in this, you know what I mean? Wake up. They just found that, man. You, you get heavy charges for just having that on you guys. I'm going to secure this. Okay. Oh, let's get this money back in his pocket. Do you have a CPL? If anything, we'll take them, um, 15 them for... Oh snap, a hundred dollar bill? This guy's yeah, loaded. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, intoxicated while carrying a firearm. Yeah. Can you throw this in the other pocket? Just... At least he's not broke, guys. He's got a car key, though, man. He could have chilled in his car. And there would be, there would have been a way less chance that this would have happened. Mary one. I blacked out before like that, and I, I woke up like on on the ground when I was homeless, bro. Uh, so like, uh, I just like lost all consciousness and woke up later. Man, it was scary. One of the worst experiences. Like I, like. <clears throat> I don't know what happened right there, man. Like, there you one. Pretty scary thing to happen. No record. So he might be like awake right now, but he, his mind not be conscious. He might not even have a memory of what happened. Still, but he, he still could be like you know awake. At, 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 but you know he does. He's he's just not conscious. Like awake and responsive, but not conscious, guys. Like, happens, especially on drugs. Ten four. Let me, uh, let me call Ashley real quick. Make sure he's good with that, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> Let's get him to the car. That way, this lady can come home. Call Joey Ashmore. Hey, uh, you know this run we're on right now? The lady came home. Lady kid. Yeah, he just had a pistol on his pants. Um, gun comes back, no record. We can't get him identified. He doesn't got any ID on him. Are you good if we uh, 15 him for being intoxicated with a firearm on him? Guys, I didn't even know that was a charge. But when he finally, uh, you know, comes back to his like consciousness and stuff, man, he's not gonna be having fun. He's gonna be in, he's gonna be eating that jail poo, bro. And then once we get him ID'd, if he has no CPL, we'll do CCW.
Um, I can get a PBT out here. I have one. Oh, oh, no, no. Straight up a felony. He wants to give a felony, man. Yeah, he's hammered. Like, um, I don't think he's that bad, cause he was able to walk our car once we got him in cuffs. He hasn't said a single word to us since we've been here. Yeah, well, not yet. The homeowner's an elderly lady inside. Her daughter was coming here to check on her. And when she got here, saw the guy sleeping on the porch. And I talked to the daughter. I talked to the daughter. She was with Dang, bro. Didn't he want to, like, wake him up and try to get him to move? Just straight up called the cops on him, man. Waiting for us down the road. Would you guys uh, do the same in your situation? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah. He has a car key on him, but there's no car around here. Like, I mean, I think it's safe to say he's over a .08. Okay, um, Enriquez actually has a PBT, so we can try and see if he'll do one. All right, sounds good. Bye. Let's see. While you do that, I'm gonna get her horsepower real quick. Okay. Yeah, it's super scary that, like, you know, he's probably not even gonna remember getting arrested whatsoever, man. That way she can go inside. Is it, 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 if you get, like, blackout drunk or anything, man. You might not remember going to sleep, bro. Like, that's why alcohol is scary to me. I don't really drink that much. More than likely, yeah. And, uh, he hasn't said a single word to us. No, he's come back and try to kill us now. What's that? <laughs> See, he's gonna come back and try to kill us. Uh, I don't know think there's a chance he'll even remember where he was. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to take those um, chairs off the um, porch. So your mom lives here? Yeah, my mom does. Okay, yeah. do you stay here too or no? I, I've been, me and my daughter have been taking care of her. Okay. So my daughter stays here. But I've been staying here to relieve her. Oh, oh, that's a lady that called the cops, guys. But I live on Rapid. One second, okay? Okay. Hey, Sarge. Good, how are you? Oh, I just talked to Joey. Oh, he's, a, he's actually calling me back real quick. Can I answer that and I'll call you right back? All right, bye. There, he's using his phone plus the dispatcher thing to communicate here. I Hello? I guess it's faster to use his iPhone. Are they giving out iPhones there? It's like company phones and stuff, and that's pretty chill. That, that's what I figured. Because I assume he doesn't have a CPL, but I figured we can't do CCW until we know for sure. No, like there's nothing on him besides cash. Okay, um, just in case he doesn't do the PVT, bring him in. Yeah. No, I don't think he's that bad. He's just young, so I assume he's kind of a lightweight. Hey bro, if only they put what that meant on the screen, because I had no idea what he meant, what he said, when he, what he meant when he said that right there. Uh, I'd say probably 21 to 23. Sounds good. Alright, later. Can you some guess someone's age like that? He said 21 to 23. Uh, that's, that's, he guessed his, uh, age is that, guys. <laughs> Alright, yeah, he's gonna be coming with us, okay? Just let me get... Can you turn your light on real quick? Sorry to do that to you. Did he say what he was trying to do? Um, he didn't say anything to us, but he had a firearm on him, so he's coming with us for that. He said he's coming with us, man. That's <laughs> not. That's not any. That's like one of the worst fears you, you'd have as a citizen, right here. Or anyone, bro. 
It's coming with them, bro. Like, oh I mean, my god. You did the right thing by just staying in your car and calling us. I don't think he's would have been a threat to you, but you just never know when somebody's intoxicated. All right. All right. You're all set to go home, okay? Or we'll go to your mom's house. All right. Thank you. And he's done so much policing. His standard words were, "You're all set to go home." Like he's letting her off, like uh, off the hook or something. He's able to walk and all. It's technically true though, because you know. So I'm gonna. Assume I'm sure that was her house before. Assume he's under a point three oh, and that we can all bring him in. So he's fifteen for CCW. Oh, we are gonna do. Something yeah, I didn't think. I didn't think about it. You have to carry ID on you while carrying a firearm. So. I got the back lit keyboard on their laptops. That's always good. You got the bag of yeah, ammo? I got the ammo. All right, I'll knock them. To this day, no, no, I've never seen a vehicle that's not a police car have a laptop inside their inside their vehicle. Report out. It's simple enough. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll bring him in, bunk him in. Like that's mounted and stuff. Like I don't know. Yep. It's fingerprints. I'm sure. I wonder if it's like a gaming laptop or something, bro. It's got the. I mean, the the backlight is standard nowadays. Hello. Yeah, Joey said, as long as I think he's under a point three zero, we're good to bring him in. And he said we're good to do CCW because he didn't carry ID on him. Um, I was patting him down, so his pants were like super baggy, and pretty much off his off his waist. Um patting him down see if I could find a wallet or anything like that on him when I was patting him down I felt uh, loose rounds in his pocket and that's when um Enriquez felt like in the crotch area of his pants and felt the pistol in there yeah dang bro let's see let's look at the comments police reports in his Christian Was taken into custody for CCW. Two people who actually deserve to serve the public. I like how he clearly woke up, looked at the officer, uh, and then fell back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, he might have been playing, uh, you know, intoxicated there. As a recovering alcoholic, I can say, honestly, at my lowest, this is how the police treated me. They literally saved my life. And respect for you, officers. Can't lie, I respect they woke him up peacefully and not toss him to the ground. Yeah, that's good, that's good. <laughs> we need more cops that can handle situations with good attitude like these guys did. Facts, bro, facts. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I do all my reactions live on Twitch. If you want to cut through, donate, subscribe, like, comment, check out Active Police Cam in the description. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace out, everyone.